Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest name on 2K in existence. And look, Mike Wang is back on Twitter. He's spamming tweets. We're gonna break that down. We're gonna go over his interviews, break them down, tell you the real that these other double twisting YouTubers aren't telling you, man. So you need to subscribe and like. Mike Wang talking about a new dribble system, new shooting system that's more OP for Zens, maybe. Fence is OP now, over 9,000 animations. Oh, oh, oh. Real player percent is back. They got mini games now. They added a new pre order bonus. Now, firstly, before we get into anything, this right here, which y'all are seeing right here this is looking faster than 24 i'm thinking this might get patched my boy already i don't think people caught on you know you can see him running out speed boosting instantly this is drew holiday i don't think he has like crazy badges like that to be honest so decent speed compared to 24 then he's like stopping and he's not fading and he's shooting instant you know there is a load up but it's like and then Instant green. Y'all see that? Instant green's back. That's a W if instant greens are back. Y'all let me know if y'all prefer instant greens or how they had it the past couple years to combat cherry picking, even though people are going to cherry pick even without that feature. There's no point. We, we want our instant greens, but hopefully it's like that online. So the new rhythm shooting feature that we're going to get into later, it is not affected by whatever visual cue setting you pick. This might be some damn cap right here, but Mike Wayne says, you know, we do need some defense in this game. Height and interior slash perimeter ratings are much stronger factors in the contest calculation this year. I doubt it, but if true, this could mean, you know, you get some stronger contests or maybe this could mean that you could shoot over players that aren't very tall much easier. Like past 2Ks, eh, who knows? Even though he's like saying stronger, this could mean like, oh, if you're little, you can get instantly shot over. Maybe by 6'7", like locks could shoot over or centers could shoot over guards like the, how they have. This guy asked if they sped up Jamal Murray's jump shot because it's probably slow as molasses. Like Wang says, it's way better now. Pro play, 9,000 animations. <laughs> now, if y'all didn't know, real player percent seemed like was making a return. You look at the interviews and stuff that we're about to go over and stuff, but he's saying, no, you can't use it online. This is a W. I know some of y'all might be mad. And some of y'all might be happy, but real player percent in 2K22, it was broken, bro. For like lockdowns and spot ups and stuff, it was broke. On the easiest shoe in 2K, come on, yeah. By the way, guys, it's looking like whites are returning with the new uh, shooting system that we're gonna break down later. This guy says, good morning, Mike. Would love to better understand the shot timing profile concept. With low risk reward, is that confirming whites to go in, but only when mistimed and wide open? So Mike Wang says with low risk reward, you still make shots if your timing is slightly off, but the bonus for good timing is much smaller. With high risk, green when is larger with a bigger bonus if you hit the timings correct but there's no margin for error if you miss it y'all let me know if y'all excited that whites are back i think this is going to be exploited i'm gonna be spamming jump shot videos so when y'all need help uh i think it's going to be exploded with uh exploit it with um machines and stuff people plug up to their uh console and i don't think 2k is going to be able to balance this bro to be honest um especially since it's new y'all know it take a while for them to really do things but um hey i'm gonna be able to spam jump shot videos with y'all being lost man but don't worry i get you right this is not really a big deal like that Green or miss is just a visual thing. All they did was open up the green window for 24, 23. So then whites just turned green. Now they're doing all this and that. I don't know. It's just maybe a different selling point. It's not really that big of a deal. I don't know, but maybe this could be a hint that shooting's going to be easier in 25. Then Mike Wang says, if you're terrible at shot timing, O will let you be somewhat competent if you take high IQ shots. So maybe if you're a negative 1% NPC casual, you probably have it on. But then he says, but will actually handicap you if you're great at shot time the better you are at shot timing the higher risk reward you want to play this guy says is rhythm shooting with the right stick going to have a bigger green window than just the regular button shooting we get a comparison between the two mike wing says they can't really be compared one to one they can but i'm gonna tell you i'll break the genju then he says because they work very differently because rhythm shooting takes more skill to master there is a much higher upside for making shots so if you're comp, you should definitely try to master rhythm shooting. You guys don't know the dunk meters are broken, right? So this is an indication that if you just do this, you're, you're basically skill dunking a shot. You just up, you time that. Home. I'm sure Simnation going to be spamming that. It's a new feature. So they're definitely going to make it to where like, that's going to be pretty OP. Um, it should be definitely, it's 
going to be easier to hit with them. Y'all play the game, try to look for them, them shots if you got a midi or even a three-point. But it it's definitely going to be OP. I mean, so look, he's saying it can't be compared, but then he says right here, there's a much higher upside for making shots. So you time that hole right. <coughs> You don't see them green. Then he says, also want to mention that rhythm shooting is always on, but it's optional. So Mike Wang says he uses both. For standing jump shots, he uses rhythm. What? You do it for standing? Oh, man. oh God. This is going to get crazy. I don't think 2K. Troll this. Mm -hmm. Hey, but it's something new. Post shots. Oh, that's going to get toxic, bro. That's already, bro. Pull ups. And let's see everything new with the game. So Pro Play is an exciting new a technology that we introduced last year, and it allows us to take real NBA footage and translate that directly to the on-court gameplay. Mm. So it brings yeah. a whole new level of realism and authenticity to the gameplay experience. All new dribble. So what can you tell us about the new dribble engine in NBA 2K25? Oh, this is one of the most amazing upgrades we've had to our engine probably in 15 years. So it's looking like the combo uh, moves and all that is going to be in the game. It's looking like the 2K24. You could tell by how he's jerking and stuff. But if y'all just heard what Mike Wing says, he said this is the biggest jump in 15 years. I call that cap. Y'all let me know if y'all believe that. So um, this is a new dribble engine built from the ground up that, that takes basically the all these pro play animations that we have, over 1,500 animations. And it dynamically creates all the movement and all the transitions that you need to make the dribble move exactly the way you want it to move. Signature go to We've got 9,000 new pro play animations to the game. Nine a lot of shots, signature shots. So nearly every <laughs> player in the league now. Bro, how many did they have last year? Does anyone remember? I don't even feel like searching. 9,000 new animations? The game should look and feel completely different. Like, if you saying 9,000, but they, they gotta be baiting. There's no way. 9,000, guys? Think about 9,000? 9,000? There's no way. I don't know, bro. 9,000? But they, you said 15 years. I don't, I don't believe it. I, I, I think it's cap, man. Has a signature shot. One of the cool things that we added was this feature called signature go-to shots. So if you remember in 2K24, you could flick the right stick up and you could um, do a little I'll see them in the greens. In 2K25, if you hold the right stick up, do a little size up sequence to get open, right? In 2K25, if you hold the right stick up, you can do a size up sequence that branches directly into your jump shot. So it's a nice way to get open and get some shots off. I'll see that. Y'all hear that? In 2K24, you could flick the right stick up and you could um, do a little size up sequence to get open, right? In 2K25, if you hold the right stick up, you can do a size up sequence that branches directly into your jump shot. So it's a nice way to get open and get some shots off. So I guess flicking up on the right stick, you will do some type of move and then you'll go directly into a shot. But they're saying now you could cancel out of it. Just like past 2Ks, you could cancel out of your hop jumpers, which was very good. I used to run out of them. It was very great for gameplay. You know, I was Sim Nation before Sim Nation. Say okay, a player wants to recreate moves from their favorite NBA superstar. How does pro stick rhythm shooting do that? Yeah, so pro stick rhythm shooting is probably one of my favorite features of the game. Pro stick rhythm shooting is probably one. Does this look more spacious to y'all? No. Do that. Yeah, so pro stick rhythm shooting is probably one of my favorite features of the game because it's just a new way to play, a new way to shoot. So in the past, it's always been the same, right? You hold a button down, release it to get, to get your shot off. With pro stick rhythm shooting, what you want to do is you want to try to match the rhythm of the player's shot. So you pull the right stick down, and when he gets to the, his set point, you push the right stick up in rhythm with how he shoots in real life. So if you master rhythm shooting, you can actually be much better than someone who's a traditional regular button shooting. That sound like it's going to be broken, bro. I ain't going to hold. Especially since it's a new feature. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. We skill dunk in the jump shot. Mm. You are you know, just want to play casually. You're just picking up the game for the first time. Put it on low. Mm. Put it on real player percentage and just try to take good shots. And as you get better at the game and kind of master your timing, bump it up to high and you're going to see that you're going to perform way better than you did with the other profiles. There's a new mm -hmm. shot canceling feature. So what it allows you to do is to break out of any advanced shot. And just like the go-to shots we talked about. New shot cancel. Uh, they be repurposing, calling it new spin head, you know. Then in the newer 2Ks, they try to like really nerf that and all this and that. But you can cancel out your shots. I'm assuming you just run out of your hop jumpers and stuff. We've been asking for that for a while. So if they really bring that back how we want it, that is a huge W, my boy. Huge W. Talked about this is your go-to shots. You can break out at any time. So if you start one, you're holding the stick up, and then you know you see the defense collapse or you see the opening. W. You what, can guys, right did, did y'all see that? Right. I don't. I don't think this is like a. Y'all see he get that gather? Hold on. You can break out at any time. So look if you this. start. Look, look, he's dribbling. You see One. he get that. You're holding the stick up and then, you know, you see. The... Look, you see how he get that gather? If you played the old 2Ks, you get that gather and then you could <laughs> run right out of it. And he's saying you could cancel out of it. Like this could help with dribbling. People be able to. It, it, if it work how like I'm I'm seeing it, you could do it like how you could in the old 2Ks. That is a huge, it opens up diversity, skill gap, 
all this and that not everybody playing the same and stuff and uh you know it used to be the fastest uh speed boost back in the day when you would do like a hop step or like and then you know you didn't just have to always use your basic moves sometimes you could do a different one that they not used to and you know hopefully man let's <laughs> collapse or you see an opening yeah. you can flick the right stick to do another move to like chain out of it or you can just throw the left stick and, and take a lay in the basket is like a way more robust hesitation feature. We've been telling you, Mike Wang, it don't matter how you make the dribbling and all this and that. If you can't run out your moves quickly, it's all useless and everyone's going to play the same way more than 2Ks where you could run out quickly out of your move. Mike, you know the saying, offense wins games, but defense wins championships. So what does this mean in NBA 2K25? Well, yeah, you know, defense is a huge part of the game. It's, it's you know, something that's People don't always look at it as being the coolest part of the game, but it's the most important part, I think, to win uh -huh. games. So, um, you know, there's a number of new defensive mechanics and upgrades to this year's system. One of my favorites is one we're calling the defensive movement system. And so if you're holding down the intensity trigger, you can slide left and right laterally or forward and back even, and you can cut off the ball handler. And if you can anticipate are they repurposing the LT feature? Like, well, and you, and you do it at the right time, you can cause them to lose their dribble or pick up their dribble. You know, if you're the on ball and you know, a lockdown <laughs> defender kind of guy, then that's the thing you want to master. Oh, uh, may, maybe your LT defense is more uh, intense. Maybe that's what he means, or maybe you get more ball stops when you're holding LT on people and stuff. But it kind of describes something that's that's been in 2K. I don't. Know. Who learned 2K? These mini games is new. get that win in NBA 2K25? Well, 2K25 this year is all about personalization and customization uh -huh. and accessibility. Um, so whether you want to accessibility, casual, casual. Take on some of the new stuff we talked about, the advanced rhythm shooting mechanic, uh -huh. or if you're less familiar with 2K, there's a new feature called Learn 2K off the main menu where you can jump in and whether like you're a novice games. of the game or I guess 2K U's done. They repurposing this whole. The mini games is new. Film room, I don't know what this is. Once you have completed the beginner tutorial, improve your... Okay. You've been playing for years. Film room, improve your skill set by watching videos on how to perform each move and study tips. So this is 2KU. Something for you to learn. There's mini games, improve your NBA 2K skills through this collection of fun, quick mini games. That'll be dope if they have like cool mini games. I remember in the Madden games, man, I would always do that rush drill First, my friend. That was fun back. Basic tutorial. Normal freestyle. Basic tutorial. Th this seems new. Like how you uh say you shooting and this jumps up. The instant excellent. This hasn't really been in the 2K. It's look more spacious, or it could be the camera. Maybe I don't know. Can't really tell. Advanced tutorials, controller <laughs> mappings. There's mini games and shooting frenzy, one on one ladder, knockout, rebound domination. Practice a rebounds. King of the court dribble speed run drills and drill. Work on your one v one skills. They got Katie there, man. It should be mellow. Stop it. Knockout score quickly. Okay, just like real life. Knockout so fun. Let me know if y'all ever played a knockout before. King of the court. I wonder if you could do this like online and stuff. That'd oh. be crazy. You could play these online. That'd be crazy. Practice your dribble moves in this race against five opponents. If you could do this online. That'd be crazy. I doubt it. There's no way. Like just different ways to practice, learn plays, everything. So if you want to learn the. Okay, by the way, adrenaline's back. Leak, 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 leak. Look at this, guys. So if you want to learn the game and get better at 2K, <laughs> it's the first place you should go. What's up, Dave? 2K, it's the first place you should go. Good Thank you so much, Mike, for joining Pat? us today. And so let's hear what Mike Wang got to say in this interview. By the way, we watched this live on Twitch. Y'all be sure to follow me on Twitch right now. It's in the description. Lord Baby Hulk on Twitch. Click the link in description. Y'all be sure to join my Discord too. And I'll be, you know, leaking stuff that you can't post on Twitter because they'll take it down. You know, we're going to get the game early. You know, we're going to be having the streams. And, you know, so join that Discord. You want to see the exclusive. Y'all y'all know the 2K leaks you can't post every year. We're going to be sharing them in the disc. Okay, so y'all got to be ready. And if you need people to play with in 2K25, join the disc. Already got 30,000. Turn it down. Turn it down. All year long. Sounds good. Uh, producer, that I See the chat saying the music is too loud they can't hear mike so let's tune that down a little bit oh uh, yeah no it's awesome to hear Stacks. what was your favorite uh new gameplay feature this year from that video 
favorite new gameplay yeah, feature. Really hard. I feel like this year uh, it's been one of the most exciting year over year upgrades in gameplay that we've had. What did you say time. last year? Uh, but I, I'm gonna have two things. Can I say two things? My two things are gonna be the new dribble engine, uh, which works. New dribble engine. How's a new dribble engine not on a new engine? I hope, Mike Wayne. I hope. Because 2K24, worst dribble system ever. If you don't think so, you're negative 1% casual NPC. Hopefully things are different, man. But never know. I'm excited to talk about and show fans how that how came together. Uh, my second one is going to be Rhythm Shoot. I won't say too much about it right now, but it's a fun way to play the game. Okay. All right. Well, I can't wait to see you. We're about to talk more about all that. And I'm sure the chat cannot wait either. Uh, before we let you go, you know, everyone is going to have so many things they want to ask you about every year, Mike. Um, are you going to be around answering questions as always? Uh, yep. As always, uh, Ronnie let me out of social media prison today, I saw. So I'll be on, uh, I'll be on X and uh, Reddit and all over the place. And uh, also, I think we're going to do some some new stuff on Discord. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Maybe Mike Wang is going to be answering things on Discord and he's going to keep catering to them uh, Reddit NPCs. Okay. Um, I just think y'all ready? guys y'all are very toxic bro i'm not gonna hold like it's not just the 2k community people that be on reddit are extremely toxic like i mean i mean with like attacking people like i would never like make a video about someone like post and stuff like trying to like really tear them down like i'd be roasting people on the game but to go out your way to like like imagine if i just made a whole post about like a certain youtuber like i would not that's it's crazy to me. y'all gotta tighten up man it's a video game dog sir so right after the show we're gonna be opening up discord questions on our official nba 2k discord we're gonna be opening up a, a channel on there for you guys to ask some questions dismiss some questions about gameplay and maybe mike will be able to answer some of your questions so make sure you come with them banger questions man don't waste his time yeah absolutely can't wait to hear all the questions and looking forward to answering as many as i can um you know shout out to the gameplay team real quick just i mean hey when y'all be asking questions on the discord you know, if you think, you know, it should make it in the video, let me know. I'm going to try to monitor what I can. Y'all be sure to send me 2K25 news in my DMs, Twitter, or wherever, or tag me. Because I don't see everything, bro. I'm a, I'm a very busy guy. So, you know, let me know. Help keep me up to date so I can give y'all my thoughts about the game. Man. All the, all the uh, engineers, all the producers, the game analysts have been working hard all year long to uh, put this game together. So we're excited for y'all to see it. Um, get your questions out there. I know there's going to be a lot of questions. And uh, yeah. Um, I gotta, I gotta get back to work. And we have, we're still, I uh, got a couple weeks before launch, and we're still putting the finishing touches on 2K25. So, uh, thanks for having me, and uh, yeah, man. I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, look, here is the official gameplay trailer. Let's, ch let's check it out, man. Check it out. Now they, they looking drippy. They looking very drippy. Looks like the lighting's a little better. I seen some PC guys. They don't really like the lighting. Nine thousand new animations. Oh, yeah, okay. Dribble like Jamal Murray, huh? New dribble engine, okay. Precise stops and explosive launches, authentic signature movement, dynamically generated motions. Okay. Graphically, look a little better, okay? They got the little whoop de whoop de. They got the behind the back from the curry. Leak, leak, leak. Ooh, they got the throw up. Was that in the past two Ks? It's kind of clean though. Ugh. That's usually like a flute. Okay, they got the signature. Uh, okay. Let me see. Ooh, that's a big hot bag. Hold on, can't really tell. Advanced pro stick shooting mechanics and signature go to shots. Okay. People seem uh very disappointed from what I'm looking like. Defend like LeBron, okay. Get a little bumpy. New defensive movement system. Y'all let me know uh the defense they talking about uh last year. He talking about some damn L2. If you could do this on the usual when someone try to that'd be crazy. Right there that D I don't know. I don't really be seeing that like that in the game. That'd be crazy. Tighter controls, I wish. Okay. New rhythm shooting. Young Clay. Lifelike shot accuracy and authenticity. Seamless dribbles to shot controls. Okay. We're going to see, boy. We're going to see. Dribble like, okay. Defend like. Okay. Shoot like. Ball like. 
They done got Bronny and LeBron in this hoe. That's crazy. He he might be the worst player to ever be featured in a, a trailer. No hate. But why they got his hair like that though? Like he got a, like he's some fuzzball or something. That's kind of crazy. That's crazy that they got before like Bronny and LeBron actually play and do this. They got it already in the game. That's kind of crazy. Like this moment has never happened. You know. Like they both got their Laker jerseys on and he's, you know, they, they, they hyping each other up. This ain't happened yet. So it's kind of cool how they got it in the trailer, you know? I don't know why he hitting his head. Maybe that's a thing he do. I, I don't know. Fall over everything. Then they, they started it out with uh, Kyrie. Could that mean dribbling here? Well, they didn't start it with Kyrie. And look at this, bro. So 2K saw they horrible pre-order sales and they went and like, hey, you pre-order two days early all versions guys listen 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 don't pre-order the game please just get it when it come out it's gonna save you bread because you're gonna be be able to see first of all everybody's mistakes with their builds and all that and you're not gonna feel rushed to make a build you sit back and watch and get the game when it comes out unless you're a content creator all this and that there's no point guys don't do it okay your bonuses are not you you getting it for the league pass the little 150 version don't do it you need links to the game just join the discord i give you the links to anything you want to watch but uh yeah man peer pressure is a you know you get the game they gonna you're gonna be pressured to waste money on a build then i'll be seeing some of y'all why you're gonna get it anyway <laughs> guys it, it hurts the company with the pre-order sales you know it makes investors be like hmm. it makes them try to give you more in the future you know duh even though if you're still gonna get it companies like they depend on like pre-order stuff for certain things you know it shows maybe that people are getting more disinterested so maybe they might try to lower the prices this and that and they'll, they'll be a little encouraged i'm not saying it's gonna really change nothing but at least do it you know like it, it, it's worth the shot man you know like, if you're going from 19 million pre-orders all the way to 5 million you're gonna be like oh you know it's, you know, think, man. Anywho, y'all click the video on the screen. I'm going to be breaking down some other videos today. This is just the Mike Wang portion. I'm going to break down the blog and everything else. Yeah, y'all be sure to turn on them noties, boy. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.